A full-size pickup truck offers enough utility for the average truck buyer, but let's say you need to tow more than, I don't know, 12,000 pounds. You, my friend, need a heavy duty, and Ram has given us one doozy of a heavy duty pickup that can tow, get this, 35,100 pounds. And I wanted to drive it so much, I came out here to the deserts outside of Vegas in this supremely crappy weather. So come on in and let's see how she do. Notice that uh, I'm in a different vehicle. <laughs> That's because in order to get that awesome 35,100 pound tow rating, you actually need to have a very specific configuration. So here we're in a single cab Tradesman 3500 with four by two. That's right, no four by four. But that gives me that awesome tow rating plus 7,680 pounds of payload, although not at the same time. So whatever this truck is missing in amenities, it does have what counts under the hood, namely the 6.7 liter high output Cummings turbo diesel engine, good for 400 horsepower and 1,000, yes, 1,000 pound feet of torque, America. So this is the first time I've towed 35,000 pounds and I thought I was gonna be able to feel all of that weight back there and I can, but it's honestly not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. And we're going down a five to 6% grade here and the brakes have been reworked for this year so that they're bigger and I don't have to put as much force on the pedal to bring this thing to a stop, which is good because now instead of just raining, it's snowing. Now the ride on this is pretty compliant, but I mean, yeah, I can feel that they've got a giant heavy duty axle and leaf springs back there, but I've also got the frequency response dampening shock. So in the valving that helps to control for that up and down wheel movement. So it's not exactly like sports car handling, I mean, far from it, but it actually is less bouncy than I thought it was gonna be. But if you wanna make the ride even more cushy, you can opt for the optional air suspension. That's three-way adjustable, and it helps keep your truck level no matter what kind of load you're carrying. Now, the Ram has got a lot of driver's aids, but they're optional, but they work with the trailers. So forward emergency braking works with the trailer. Adaptive cruise control, it can bring you all the way down to a stop. Yeah, that works with the trailer. I mean, I'm not sure I wanna give up control with this much load behind me, but hey, you know, options there, you do you. Blind spot monitoring is also available, but what's really weird is that it just covers the truck, not the trailer. And this has got so many available options, it's kind of a glaring omission. Now you can get around that with the optional 360 degree camera system where you've got four different cameras. Now this one, unfortunately, all I've got is the rear camera, but you can also get cameras in the bed and you can get a camera on each side mirror. So that helps you see the whole length of the trailer, which is really nice. There's also an optional auxiliary camera that you can put inside your trailer so you can keep an eye on your horses or race cars or whatever it is that you're hauling around. Although this particular truck doesn't have it, that awesome 12 inch screen is available across all trims. So you can get a base truck with that 12 inch screen running the excellent Uconnect system. So what if you don't need all of this capability? I mean, a thousand pound feet of torque is a lot. Well, there is also a 6.7 liter Cummings turbo diesel regular output engine, which is good for 370 horsepower and 850 pound feet of torque, which is still really nothing to shake a stick at. And then the standard engine is the 6.4 liter Hemi V8 with 410 horsepower and 429 pound feet of torque. So while this Tradesman is a base truck, of course, you gotta add on a lot of extras to make it do the things that you want it to do. So this one comes in at about $58,000. Having said that, it's really amazing how easy it is to tow with this. I mean, I feel actually almost comfortable, which is really surprising. I was nervous at the beginning of the day, and now I feel like an old pro. A base Tradesman in 2500 trim is actually a really good value, starting at just over $33,000. But this guy here, this is an upper Laramie trim. It's got the mega cab, it's got four x four, and it has the premium of over $11,000 for the high output diesel. So in total, this truck right here, $84,370. Now, I really, really like this truck, but man, they just don't price them like they used to. Hey, it seems like we've been driving a lot of trucks on Roadshow here lately, so be sure to like and subscribe on the YouTube to see every single one of those videos. We got trucks 
on YouTube. So like and subscribe.